Yes, boys and girls, something good is going to happen. Something good is in store as children empowered to serve Praise Jesus in 2019. On every other Friday on Mission Life Facebook page at 6 p.m. for children empowered to serve. We wish you a Happy New Year! Hello, yes, you. I take this opportunity to welcome you. We have so much in store to offer. Children Empowered to Serve has everything real proper. So call your neighbor and tell your friend, sit down and look at everything till the end. We promise you that you will be blessed. So feel welcome and remember to tell your friend to like and share. Boys and girls, let us pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for the gift of life here with my parents, family, and friends. And thank you for the promise for all of us of the life forever with you. Please help us to be ready to meet you when you come. I pray. Amen. Welcome, boys and girls, to another presentation of our health corner. Today, we will learn some health benefits of a very special and tasty fruit. Can you guess what this fruit is? Mmm, a mango. You guess right. I hope you boys and girls love mangoes. I love mangoes. Mangoes are good for our immune system since it contains high antioxidant properties. It helps in fighting infection and preventing all types of cancer. Therefore, keeping you strong and healthy. It also contains high levels of vitamin C, fiber, and pectin that aids in controlling high levels of cholesterol. Boys and girls, if you want to see your skin flawless and glow, suck a mango. It cleanses and treats your pores. Mangoes are loaded with vitamin A, making it a perfect fruit to improve your eyesight, preventing night blindness and dry eyes. Uh-huh. So now you know all the wonderful benefits of mango. I encourage you today, try a mango. This has brought us to the end of our health corner. See you next time. your nail scarred hands I have a deep unspeakable joy that makes my feet to stand
Good evening, boys and girls. Good and how are you today? Okay. Our story today is entitled To Obey is Better Than to Sacrifice. To Obey is Better Than to Sacrifice. Can you say that? To Obey is Better Than to Sacrifice. Yeah. Now, this is something said by to the first king of Israel. Do you know who was the first king of Israel? King Saul, yes. Now Saul was told to go and fight the enemies, but he should wait for the prophet Samuel to come to offer sacrifice. But Samuel delayed, and King Saul decided to go ahead and do the sacrifice. Soon after he had finished, Samuel appeared, and Samuel told him, to obey is better than to sacrifice. Well, Winston, he lived with his grandmother. And every evening before go retiring to bed, Granny would tell Winston a story, a good story with a meaning. And it was grandma's habit after every story to say, Winston, remember, to obey is better than to sacrifice. Well, Winston was saving to buy himself something for his birthday because he knew that grandma didn't have the money to buy anything for him for his birthday. So he had a little box under his bed and every time he had a 25 cents piece or 10 cents piece, any money, he would place it in that box, saving up for that special something for his birthday. Well, one afternoon, Grandma sent Winston down the road at the shop to purchase for her a packet of flour. Well, the shop was about 
20 minutes down the road. On his way to the shop, Winston's eyes were attracted to Mr. John's garden. There in Mr. John's garden was a plum tree, and it was plum season, and the tree was laden with ripe, purple color, juicy plum. And Winston felt, my, I can do with some of those plums. Well, Mr. John's garden was barbed wire fence, but it was a problem for him. But as he thought, a voice said to Winston, to go and help yourself with some of the plums would be stealing, and you know you should not steal. So Winston tried to forget the idea, and he went to the shop, purchased his packet of flour. But on his way, coming back, as he got to the spot where the plum tree was, again, he looked at the plum tree. And this time, the plum seemed juicier than before. And Winston couldn't help himself. Just then, he thought it was Tuesday afternoon. And it was Mr. John's habit every Tuesday evening, he would go to town. So Mr. John was nowhere wrong. So Winston felt this was his chance. So he easily climbed over the barbed wire fence with the packet of flour and went to the plum tree. He rested his packet of flour at the foot of the tree and he made his way up the tree to help himself with some of the plums. But as he climbed all over was ripe, juicy color plums and Winston couldn't decide. Then he saw a cluster of plums in the end of a branch and he felt, if I go, this will do me well. As he was adding himself to the cluster of plum, there was a certain crack and both Winston and the branch went sprawling to the ground. As he landed to the ground, he heard a big roar. It was Mr. John's two big bulldog. They heard the crash and they were going to find out what to investigate what had caused the crash. Mm -hmm. Instantly, Winston got up and he ran and went over the barbed wire fence as the two dogs came back in and gnashing of the tail at the fence. But good for Winston, he was safe in the road. It seemed everything was okay. But grandma's packet of flour was right there under the tree. And it seemed as though those two dogs were not going anywhere. What will Winston do? Then he thought. So he ran back up home, passed to the back of the house, reached for his box, emptied it, and as he checked, it was just enough to buy a second packet of flour. So unseen by grandma, he went out and back down to the shop, and he purchased his second packet of flour. Now he was coming back with a packet of flour under his arm. As he reached the spot of the plum tree, the first packet of flour was right there. As he thought about it, he bowed his head and said, Grandma was right. To obey is better than to sacrifice. That's the end of the story. Thank you, Uncle Lopez. All right, thank you very much, too. Until next time. But remember, to obey is what? Better it's better than to sacrifice. sacrifice. God bless you. We belong to Jesus. This is a very important document my parents were given to prove that I was born, that I was their child, and that I have the right as a citizen of the country where I was born. This document proves that my date of birth, my father's name, my mother's name, and my name. This document is one of the most important documents I own. I had to produce it. My parents had to produce it when I had to enter school. They had to produce it to get my passport, and I believe when I am getting married, I may have to produce it too. It is a proof of who I am for all the important activities in my life. Here I have another certificate. It's different, but even more important than the one I just showed you. When Jesus died on the cross for me, it was the birth certificate that tells me I am entitled to live with him in heaven. 
This certificate says I belong to him and I am a citizen of the kingdom. Boys and girls, you have these with two certificates too, just as I do. How wonderful that through Jesus' death there is eternal life for all. Our time has come to an end, boys and girls. It was a pleasure having you here with us and we look forward to you being a part of Children Empowered to Serve, where we will learn more about Jesus. Thank you so much. Don't forget to invite your friends and share our page, Mission Live Grenada. Until next time, we say goodbye and God bless.